Well, new here at 5 o'clock, everyone, we are getting a look at pictures showing a Claiborne County Sheriff's Office cruiser with a shot fired right through the windshield. That shot allegedly fired by a deputy playing a game of Russian roulette while the car was driving down the interstate. Here's the picture shared with us by attorney T. Scott Jones. And you can see the bullet hole in the windshield. Now, this apparently happening in early November of last year while Officer Noah Arnwine was taking part in a prisoner transport. Now, all of this according to a memo obtained by WATE 6 on your side, written by Jones's client, former Claiborne County Assistant Chief Mark Ellis. Another officer telling Ellis that Arnwine drew a revolver, removed four of the five rounds from the gun, and then played Russian roulette with a pistol pointed in a direction that could strike traffic. At some point, the gun went off. I don't know what went through his brain, but he just spun the cylinder, flipped it shut, and went, wow! That's a recording of the officer who was with Ellis speaking to Assistant Chief Ellis during an interview. Now Ellis writes in that memo that he called to local hospitals confirming they had not treated anyone for any unexplained gunshot wound. Ellis recommended that Arnwine be placed into a position that does not require the carrying of a firearm while the incident is still further investigated. Now if found to be true, he recommended that Officer Arnwine face immediate termination and charged with reckless endangerment. We reached out to Sheriff Bobby Brooks to find out what happened with Arn Wine, and we're still waiting to hear back. We should point out that Mark Ellis, who wrote that memo, is the former Claiborne County Jail Administrator. He was fired back in May when allegations surfaced of an alleged assault on an inmate at the jail. A TBI investigation followed, and Ellis was indicted earlier this month on charges of assault and official oppression.